there's nowhere to anchor here. It is alive and the water's, well, I think we can see down about 35 to 40 meters in Viz. So we're gonna go and check it out. Okay guys, so we got here and we made a really, really stupid decision today. We are an Australian family that made our boat Catalpa our home and set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us in our travels as we share our life on the sea. All right, we've done the hard yards. We've been the last two hours trying to find somewhere to anchor. We can't find anywhere. Um, we found a line attached to a big hunk of coral. It's not a nice, healthy looking piece. It's a big dead piece that many boats have tied to. Uh, another boat that we're with has tied their anchor around it and the rope that's on there we didn't trust. So we've got the anchor chain and a rope that was on the bommy. Um, to the boat and we're hanging off the back of another boat because there's nowhere to anchor here But there is fish everywhere. It is alive and the waters Well, I think we can see down about 35 to 40 meters in Viz. So we're gonna go and check it out. We made a pretty dumb decision <laughs> We are very well aware of it. You do not have to tell us how stupid we were what? and uh... <laughs> Stern tying to a catamaran the do's and don'ts I don't think you should send tie to any boat like that. Right? No. Yeah, no. I don't think you should do what we did. Please don't do what we did. Don't do that at home, kids. <laughs> it was meant to be very temporarily because we couldn't find anywhere in this beautiful location to anchor. Yeah. We're on passage. Had to stop for a little birthday breakfast. Yeah, it was Liam's birthday off Nalakai, so we wanted to stop so that he wasn't sailing on his birthday. Once we did pull up, once we we took a few hours to do yeah. what we did, um, we went aboard Nalakai and we were actually on their boat having birthday breakfast. We had pancakes uh, for at least an hour or two hours. Yeah, we had about three or four knots of current, so our Catalpa was like she was sailing behind Nalakai. So it was yeah. all good at that moment. It seemed it seemed like it was all good. It doesn't justify what we did. Um, we pretty much got distracted that the water was super clear and that we all wanted to go. We thought we'd just have a quick look in the water and just a quick dip before we kept moving on. Just hanging out with my little mates. Little mates. Look how nice the water is. Sorry, clear. Um, Pat Pulu Sato. Tiger Blast. 13. 13 and 12. <laughs> The local kids joined us and off we went exploring this beautiful little island in the middle of nowhere.
in that process, we got a little bit carried away because it was so beautiful. <laughs> and the current was slowing, so it wasn't that hard to snorkel. But we forgot about the boats. So as the current stopped, the boats thought they'd have a little party together. And uh, yeah. There was a collision. Catalpa, we obviously it went slack and Catalpa got a bit of a roll on her. Yeah. So what happened is she's rolled onto Nalakai and she held up pretty well. We just think that the handrails were what the yeah. pressure went on to. So yeah. that's where the damage was. We got back and realised what had happened, saw the damage and next minute Catalpa was heading back for Nalakai. Lee jumped on board, started the engine and reversed up, avoiding more damage. I think we were lucky we came back when we did. It's a silly, silly mistake, but I don't know. I was a bit complacent. She's an old boat, and we've never been really too worried about little scratch and dings with her. But, yeah. Um, and yes. And we're up against a tough boat. That <laughs> yeah. old Nalakai, the old aluminium old girl. She's a uh, she's quite tough. a strong boat. <laughs> if you were wondering who would win in a fight when um, between ferro and aluminium. Yeah, I think the alley takes it the out. The alley takes it out for sure. <laughs> But we just wanted to, we wanted to share this experience with you. Obviously, we could have not showed you this because, you know, on our behalf, it was a pretty stupid mistake, but... Oh, no. Our comments are back on, too. <laughs> We're going to get crucified here. <laughs> but we wanted to share because we do make mistakes and, you know, we've been sailing for a long time and cruising for a long time and you guys have seen all the dumb things that we've done, but this was pretty up there. We're probably the dumbest thing we've done yeah. <laughs> so yeah we just wanted to um, let you know that we did understand that what we did was stupid and we won't do it again most likely no. <laughs> but yes especially not in our new boat <laughs> no. we untied from Nalakai made sure that they were okay and had no damage we came back and uh Katelp is all banged up and was running to Nalakai Nalakai's aluminium, so thank God they don't have any damage. A little bit of damage, but not much. A um, little bit of scrape of paint, I think, as far as we know so far. Um, but we've broken all our staunchions have come out of the concrete and lost a piece of our tow rail. Come around and I think Catalpa was rolling and it's just rolled on its side on, on their boat. It's just one of those moments when uh, just it happens and we can't help it we've just got to move forward so we're just trying to work out where we go now to wangi wangi so that we can be in a still calm bay um, to fix catalpa because the reason why we tied up is we couldn't anchor it's really difficult to anchor here so we are just adrift at the moment trying to make some decisions so on a on a positive note i just had i just opened up an avocado and it was it's a really good one it's like the yummiest avocado I think I've had in Indonesia. So, you know, you've got to always look on the bright side of life. This is a positive moment out of today. <laughs> and yeah, that's what's happening. More drama, more uh, boat projects. We just want to go and have fun. We just want to go diving and keep traveling and keep moving, but Anyway, chin up, smile on your face, shoulders back, just keep pushing on. So we have left the little island where we had a little bit of an accident um, and we are on our way to Hogger, which is in Wakitobi. It's about 77 nautical miles away and um, we are sailing, it's very nice, we've got wind on the beam, 
Now it's a little bit behind us, but we're just cruising along, going about four knots. And we are hoping that it stays like this all night. That would be lovely. This is the kind of sailing we all like. And I think uh, Taj is doing first watch. which is an island in Wakatobi group and now the fun begins once again. Do you even know how to fix? No, I'm right? like, I don't know, I'm actually getting a bit over fixing this Catalpa up. I can give you the hot tip, so I've got some good ideas coming up. Last time we were in Wakatobi we visited a little village that live on the water and this is another one of those villages. Little village over there. Welcome to Hogger by some local guys that used to work at the dive resort prior to COVID. So they spoke a little bit of English. How? It's uh, Yeah, we've been in Indonesia for a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're stuck in Indonesia. Yeah. <laughs> The boys were comparing their spear guns. <laughs> Strong, yeah. <laughs> 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 you can just pull it. Yeah. Like, uh, oh, 10, 15 minutes. Inside will come out, you can just No poison. No poison, they look like one that shoots. <laughs> no, but it's not dangerous. Not dangerous? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know the one that looks like that that shoots? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Many, many students from the research say this kind of thing is uh, dangerous. dangerous? But yeah, yeah, yeah. Different. Oh. Happy, right. happy. Like a like the good intentions of trying them, but instead we set them free. Yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. So you boil it? Yeah, How you long? Just, just, uh, 15, 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. And it comes out of the shell. Yeah. You can just uh, pull it in for a yeah. lady. Here comes Malachi. <laughs> no good timing. Just as Nalakai was coming into anchor, the rain and wind picked up and we saw 40 knots of wind. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like it and write a comment. Tell us what you think down below. Oh no, do I? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can't do that. <laughs> Sorry guys, I just had crap in my tooth. She tells me right at the end when we're finished recording. Bella made brownies. So that's what it was. Oh well, look, 
<laughs> we do get stuff in our teeth now and then, guys. <laughs> we do make mistakes. We're, we're not perfect. <laughs> oh, sorry, it was that hard to watch. <laughs> That's hard when someone's got something in there too. You can't stop looking at it. Do I have something in my teeth? It's all good. Stay tuned, guys. <laughs> Stay tuned if you want more. See what we got in there next week. I'm sure you'll be back for more. <laughs> uh, yeah. I got food in my teeth. <laughs> you do. You got a big bit right on the front. You wouldn't believe it. No, I don't. No, you don't. Oh. <laughs> we love you guys, and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs> Bye.